My name is Mary and I am the CEO of Mary's Beauty Glam, currently running in Abuja. For now, we are a startup and we know that as time progresses, we'll keep moving forward. So basically what we do is we do bridal makeups, wedding, um, photo shoots, casual makeups, we do um, bed days, anything beauty, that's what we do. So we also tigerly and we train, yes, we also train. Um, people who are aspiring makeup artists so that's basically what we do for now growing up I've always liked making up for one and then my other sister I, I think she just saw that vision in me and then she was like maybe you should train for to be a makeup artist at first I didn't really take her serious because it wasn't really something like I, I did not really know I was going to like and enjoy the way I'm, I am doing currently so I remember back then, whenever she do her makeup, I will watch and I will also follow suit. So it got to a point that there was no Sunday that I was going to be going to church that I wasn't going to have makeup on, like heavy, serious makeup, even if it wasn't that good. So when I got into school, I started training for other skills like fashion designing, sewing of bags. But then I realized it wasn't really something I wanted to do. Like it wasn't something I had passion for. It wasn't something I loved. You know, I feel like there's nothing as good and interesting as doing what you really love to do. So um, last year, I decided to train and I went for the class. I signed up and then I started doing it. And I realized I really love doing this thing. And here I am today. You know, yes. it's been interesting. It's, it's nice. I really love it. Like I said before, being a makeup artist is like, is like my dream. And I did not realize this was what I wanted to do until early last year. And it has been amazing because I've realized that it's something I really have passion for. And I know as time progresses, I'm still going to go for more upgrade classes. I still see YouTube videos anyways, you know, I just want to be really, really good at this thing. Like, I want this job to actually take me to the next level because I love doing it and I really love doing it. And speaking about challenges, ha, huh, there are a lot of challenges in this thing. Like, um, challenges like how expensive these products are, you know, the price you meet today in the market is not the price you're going to meet tomorrow. Also, clients. Don't even get me started on client. You know, most clients, they don't really understand what this thing entails. They just feel like, okay, I'm booking you and you're going to come to my house to do this thing. And it's just an easy, easy task. Not knowing that I'm actually putting so much effort. And most times their pay is really nothing to write home about because at the end of the day, you're not really going to get much profit. But like I said, we are still moving gradually. And achievements, well, um, I'm happy I'm doing this thing. Like, as a youth and unmarried, you know, I just like that I'm doing something. I'm doing something I love. And, you know, the money is coming so small. And I won't have to ask my parents send me money for this because I'm a final year student, so I'm still in school. And I really love that I'm doing this thing. Like, I am. Because I love to be independent. I, will, I would love to be an independent lady someday. So I think this is a step in the right direction. And I know with time and the grace of God, everything is just going to go smoothly for me. I am positive. I am very positive. First of all, I would advise that if you want to do this job, it should be something you love doing. You know, because you know, a lot of people learn a lot of skills like I did. But then I, 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 at the long run, I, I felt and realized that wasn't what I wanted anymore. You know, just as if you, 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 you go for a particular training and then you graduate and you start doing this stuff and then you get bored by it and then you end up not doing it. Because for me, that was what happened to me initially. I learned other skills and I found out I, I really wasn't happy doing them. So what's the point of doing what you're not happy doing? It's just basically just wasting your time. So for someone who wants to start, um, who wants to be a professional makeup artist, I would say the first thing you need to do is be convinced that it's something you really want to do. It's something you like doing because it's not easy. Okay, well, no job is easy. but. Being a makeup artist is not easy because clients will stress and frustrate you. And if it's not something you love doing, you just quit. There are times that I feel like I'm like I, I, I feel like I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore because I get frustrated. Sometimes the, the the job doesn't really come as you want it to. 
So I think first of all, you should just want, you should just be positive. You should be positive and you know have this mindset that okay, this is what I want to do. Then go for the training. When you go for the training, you know you and also you have to have to you have to have to have enough capital to get those products because products are expensive. Like when I was training, my boss would be like, okay, we have to get products for practicals and stuff like that and then I remember then I didn't even have any money for the product you know I had to look for means to source for those phones to get the product I needed and I'm still getting those products I need right now anyways so I think if you want to do this you should be dedicated and because it's not easy you this is someone's face you are beating so you shouldn't go to a client to make up for them and then you end up doing something that they don't like because if you hate hearing words like I do because I don't like people telling me words like negative words or annoying words you you will cry you'll be frustrated because you know you, you know how it's, it's not easy to please people in this life so like i said just make sure it's something you really want to do and have this positive mindset that everything is going to go smoothly be dedicated you know that's it my most interesting day was there was this client um that called me she called me through a friend i didn't even know her one of my friend um um, referred me to her so she asked me to come to her house and I was like okay yes I'm going to come so I went to her house and I did the makeup for her and then she was she was happy that she paid me extra she paid me extra she referred me to two other clients like I was happy I felt on top of the world like that if you see me be me from ear to ear I was smiling I was like, oh thank you much was like don't like she told me that I was going to go places and I should just keep being um like she just like she gave me some inspiring words and i still hold on to those words till now so that's my most interesting um, um my, my most interesting part of this journey and then huh, the one that happened to me oh lord this client this woman <clears throat> anyways i i forgive her this woman, what happened that it was that she had this, um, um, her daughter was the one doing this birthday photo shoot. She was, the, she was the one who contacted me for the daughter. So she gave me the address um, a day before the D-Day for the makeup. And then I went to the address. Okay, before I got to the place, she called me and said, um, I, I, shouldn't, I should no longer come to her house. I should come to a studio that is far from her house and i had all my loads in my hand my makeup my ring light everything and i was frustrated and then the sun was scorching i was inside the sun i was sweating like there is there is nothing as bad as you being stressed out before you do an actual job you won't be able to do what you're supposed to you'll be frustrated and to stop this whole stress she didn't even feel my pain she didn't add any money for me she was even she was even angry that i came late than the time she gave me and it wasn't my fault so that's why i said clients will frustrate you in this life just pray god give you my prayer every morning is god please give me the right client i don't want a client that will stress me because i don't like stress in this life i just want to enjoy this life so that's that was my most terrible experience so my advice to younger people or people of my age who want to be in this profession is that, especially in this, in this country, Nigeria, my mom will always tell me something. She, she always tells me that there's nothing like being skillful, like having a handwork. It's good to have a white collar job in this country, but we know how the country is. And you know, you have to know someone that knows someone that knows someone that knows someone and they knowing someone, it, it, it's, you know, like you have to know someone in this country to be able to get a good job. So I feel like young people like me should, you know, try as much as they can to gain one or two skills. Like I said, if you want to be in this skill, you know, most time the capital might not be there. Because I, for one, when I wanted to start this, I, I did not have the capital. Thank God the boss I had was nice and she allowed me to pay instrumentally. And even after I paid instrumentally, I didn't have money to buy the products. Like it was, it wasn't easy and you know, it's, it's not been easy coupled with the fact that the country is just, 
you know, it's just anyhow these days and the job isn't really coming. I just want you to be positive. Just have this positive mindset that everything is going to be all right. There are times where I, I fell into depression and no one will even know. I would just come out of the house and I would smile. But when I go back inside, I would cry. I can cry very well. I'm very emotional. I would cry. I'll be like, what is even going on? Like, in fact, a lot of business, businesses right now in Nigeria are closing due to the economic situation. But then it's not been easy. I just, just know that God, God will always come through. And you don't really have to go for a... Um, makeup class like a physical makeup class you could start with youtube videos a lot of makeup artists i know start started with youtube videos you know you watch youtube videos try to improve yourself and your skills get some more, more products it doesn't have to be the original product that are very expensive you can get those you know little products that are not much that are not that expensive and then you start little by little I am not where I want to be, but I know I am going there. I am going there. So you don't have to have everything at once. You know, have like 300,000 to buy ring light, buy makeup products, buy this, buy that. No. You can start little by little. You can start from watching YouTube videos, you know, save money, go for physical classes. I am still going to go for a lot of up upgrade classes because I feel like I am not where I want to be yet. So all these things is just little by little. A br bridge, how, how they say this statement? A road isn't built in a day. Yes, a road isn't built in a day. So, you know, just stay positive. I've said stay positive like 100 times over, but just stay positive that everything will work out and pray. You know, we have God, so we have everything. Even if we don't have everything now, we know we have God, and God will always come through for us no matter what. Mary's Beauty Glam, <laughs> your go to beauty aid and contact me my information are going to be down on the description box below and please try to stay positive everything is going to work it go better like we always say everything is going to work you know you don't have to have everything figured out right now you don't have to have everything figured out right now we are still young and we are hopeful and we should choose to remain hopeful that things are going to get better with time so peace the passionist impacting generations and taking you deep